Roshri. Welcome to Skincare with Lenka. Before we start, I would love if you subscribe to my channel. I will appreciate it a lot. In today's video, I will show you and uh, demonstrate with application four of my favorite sunscreen. And I will talk about the sunscreen a little bit as well. And we will have one mineral sunscreen, one combination sunscreen and two chemical sunscreens. Two of them are locally made in South Africa. They come in different price range from very affordable to a little bit expensive. And what else? Let's start. Let's talk about sunscreens first. As I mentioned, we have three types of sunscreen. We have mineral sunscreen or organic sunscreen. We have chemical sunscreen or inorganic sunscreen and we have combinations. So it is combination of both. Okay, let's talk about the UV. So we have UVA and UVB. UVA uh, rays penetrate skin very deep and they destroy the collagen and elastin. And UVB, uh, they are causing the burning. So you can remember UVA as aging rays and UVB as for B as for burning rays. They both contributing to skin cancer and, and the skin cancer melanoma is number one skin cancer in the world. Let's talk about the application. So uh, most of the people, they really under apply the sunscreen. They're applying it as a moisturizer, which is a mistake because you need to apply quite a lot of sunscreen to achieve the SPF on the bottle they marketing. So for example, if you have SPF 50, and you use only tiny amount or um, not sufficient amount, you may be achieving SPF 15 or 20 tops. Um, so it is very important to apply it properly with a decent amount of product. And later on, I will show you how much uh, I apply and how I do it. How do you know which sunscreen is mineral or chemical or combination? So for very easy uh, identification, you need to remember only zinc oxide, titanium dioxide and iron oxide. So for example, if the sunscreen contains only zinc oxide, it is mineral sunscreen or it can have combination with uh, titanium dioxide or iron oxide to give it a tint for tinted moisturizer or tinted sunscreens. If the sunscreen has zinc, titanium or iron oxide plus some other long name uh, chemicals. Uh, this is combination sunscreen. And if you have only words that you cannot pronounce, um, that's a chemical sunscreen. Let's talk about chemical sunscreen. Lots of people are freaking out like, oh, chemical sunscreen, I won't use that. I don't want to put chemicals on my body. I want only natural like mineral sunscreen, only zinc oxide sunscreen. But this is not always option for everybody, especially if you have darker skin tone. The mineral sunscreen are very hard to formulate, so it's a uh, look good uh, on darker skin tone. It's usually have this white cast or this like a, a lilac uh, purplish tint on darker skin tone. So, you know, to say like, oh, you only can use this kind of sunscreen is nonsense. Uh, but in fact, what you need to understand that everything in nature is made from chemicals. Water is a chemical, salt is a chemical, your citronella essential oil is a chemical. Uh, so you just try to, you know, dissociate this, uh, this word as a negative one. It's just the classification of the sunscreen. Uh, and frankly, just to explain it another way chemical sunscreen and another name for chemical sunscreen is organic sunscreens it, it means organic is just means it came from organic chemistry and uh, mineral sunscreen is inorganic uh, sunscreen it means it came from inorganic chemistry like um, so inorganic is uh, minerals rocks and organics is anything else if I remember my chemistry uh, chemistry from high school correctly, that should be correct. Anyways, so what, what I'm trying to say, chemical sunscreen are more than safe. Uh, they don't cause any harm. Uh, you might experience some burning uh, with chemical sunscreen. So if you have very, very sensitive skin, then mineral sunscreen is better for you. All right, it's time for demo. I will show you for each sunscreen application and then I will go outside after 15 minutes on natural light to show you how it looks on daylight. And, uh, and the first uh, sunscreen, I will, I will show you the proper application 
and the rest of the three sunscreen I will just use a small amount on my face to see how it looks on the skin because I just don't want to use so much product and wash it off immediately just waste I don't like to waste my skincare especially you know if it's expensive and or even if it's not expensive I just don't want to waste the skincare anyways let's start it Alright, so let's start with the least favorite of my favorites and this is Xeroderm SP40 sunscreen with UVA and UVB high protection all year around for all skin types. Um, so I will show you the proper application, how you, the amount you should use uh, with the sunscreen. I will put it on my ears and neck. So for example, for the face, um, you would use about that much uh, face cream, right, moisturizer. But this is not the case for um, for the sunscreen, which I explained before. So let's put proper amount. So either you can use some um, people, they like to use the finger method. You can put two fingers or even three fingers, um, or it's about bigger size of the coin. Uh, so it's quite a lot of product. Um, so let me just show you. All right, so you see the, you know, the difference between amount I would put in a face cream to how much I would put um, sunscreen for my face, neck um, and ears. As you see, it's go on quite white um, and it's very moisturizing. So you must remember, so what sunscreen work for me doesn't have to work for you. I have dry to combination um, uh, skin type, dry around. I have just um, mostly oily T-zone. Um, so what works for me, it might not work for you if you have very oily skin. You might like or not like it's too, too moisturizing. Uh, but for me, uh, this works just fine. So people always forget the ears and the skin cancer on ears are quite common. So uh, you better not skip this part. And behind the ears. So as you see, it's very dewy and shiny. So I will let it soak in for uh, about 10 minutes and I will go outside to um, shoot just with my small camera, my phone camera, to see how it looks on natural light. Um, it absorbs quite quickly. 
it's not it's not greasy but it's li um, a little bit um, sticky but then it goes down as it dries out all right so this is the Cerederm SP40 and as you can see it has very dewy glowy finish which I really much like um, yeah it feels very comfortable no greasy no sticky feels just right Alright, I'm back. I washed my face and on the third place I will try this Eucerin Sun Protect Very High Protection 50 Plus SPF UVA and UVB uh, Sensitive Protect. This is a fragrance free uh, chemical sunscreen so it won't leave any uh, white cast like zinc oxide sunscreen I usually do. Uh, but yeah. So this is feels like um, very light moisturizer um, compared to the first one, the Xeroderm. It, the first one was like very like a thick, like a typical sunscreen, and this one spreads fast and absorbs fast. And again, it has this. Um, shiny dewy look which i like but uh let's see how it will perform in about 15 minutes and i will go outside to see to show you how it looks on uh, normal daylight oh no i chipped my nail <laughs> just had it a second ago it's still this glowy dewy but it's not it's a little, a little bit it's a little bit more um tacky than the first one, the Xero Dam, but otherwise it feels really good. So on the sun, go on the shade so you see how it looks in the shade. Alright, I'm back. I washed my face again, and on the second place we have this sunscreen by fundamentals skincare and this is spf 30 cream packet protection against the sun and uh, they don't say uva or uvb protection on the bottle but i have contacted uh, the company and they ensure me that indeed has uva and uvb protection so it's broad spectrum plus i was able to get a coupon code so if you order through their website and put my code lenka 10 percent off um, uh, you will get 10% discount. You can find the links um, and, and the coupon code in my description box. All right, so uh, let's use it. So I've been using actually this one uh, for a few days. Um, I really like it. So let's put again. I'm not putting the proper proper amount because I only washed my face. The rest of the thing still has a sunscreen. So again it has very uh, lightweight um, feeling this is um, a chemical sunscreen again so you see it goes very wide on the skin but it shouldn't leave any white cast even you have the other skin tone because there is nothing to leave white cast there all right um yeah so when i apply the sunscreen for the first time i experienced some burning uh, but it hasn't it happened since, so I'm not quite sure what it was, but I have a theory because just before I have used salicylic acid toner with niacinamide and that could cause um, some irritation or something. Uh, so with chemical sunscreen uh, you can have burning sensation, it's some chemical fil filters, they do that especially around the eyes. Uh, but again, um, as I said, like I put it first time, it was burning for a good 15 minutes and then it went away. But since then I have, I use it probably like 10 times and 
no burning at all. Um, so I don't know, maybe you just burn you for the first time you use it and then after the not. But anyway, I think it's because of the salicylic acid toner I used. Uh, but I don't know, it feels really comfortable, it dries, absorbs quite well. Again, it has this little like a shiny, shiny dewy finish. Alright, and this is the fundamental sunscreen, looks like this. Feels pretty good, it's non-sticky, non-tacky, feels really nice. And don't forget to grab your 10% discount with my coupon code LENKA10% off. All right, I'm back. I washed my face, it's dry, and now it's time for number one, my favorite sunscreen, and this is uh, by Lelive All, All the Shades Marula Tinted SPF 30 Broad Spectrum Moisturizer. It's 50 ml. It came uh, with this nice reusable not reusable, sorry, recyclable uh, packaging, the only plastic part is this, but I think everything has been recycled. Uh, I'm sure they very cautious about uh, nature and recycling and being uh, clean and green and everything. Anyway, watch my video about Lelive uh, from before, I linked the uh, I will link the uh, I will link the link. I will put the link in the description box so you can watch it again. But I'm generally really uh, happy and surprised with this sunscreen. It has really nice texture, something something a bit different, very lightweight and very moisturizing. It reminds me the one uh, I use instead of the makeup is by Bare Minerals, the tinted moisturizer. amazing it's like no white cast it goes like you know like it soaks immediately in it feels so lightweight um i'm i'm really happy with this sunscreen And I put a little bit on it so we don't have too big difference. It's such a nice thing, I think like I, I was first um, afraid it will be like way too dark for me. Uh, again, because as I said, love ways marketed for uh, beautiful African ladies with the darker skin tone um, but it performs beautifully on light skin as well and it's just so hydrating and moisturizer moisturizing is I think it's because of that marula oil so it might be too much if you have oily skin you might not like it but it's not oily or greasy so that's what i like it's really just give you this look at this beautiful glow and tint mm. it just makes me look more healthy you know like i'm, I'm white I, I avoid sunlight i put sunscreen every day so i'm white uh, but this looks just like i had a nice beautiful vacation somewhere on the beach so nice. Okay, look at that. It's so pretty. So this is the Lalibe. So nice. And it's non-sticky, non-tacky. It just feels so good on the skin. It's just like, you know, like a moisture, like, like you would put a hyaluronic acid mask put moisturizer and it just feel like plumped and hydrated and beautiful so this is definitely win so so good 
and so surprising because it's uh, just mineral sunscreen and usually those are super hard to formulate to look so nice but this is uh, this is a winner so if you if you're looking for tinted moisturizer get this one for sure so I finish up Lalive with a little bit of makeup uh, it feels and looks amazing just has this dewy glowy uh, finished look which I absolutely love it looks so natural and so juicy and beautiful it feels amazing on the skin so hydrating but yet no greasy no oily and it just absorbs so nicely and my still skin just feels so good anyways that's all for today thank you so much for watching if you enjoy my video please give it a thumbs up hit the notification bell so you can see all my future videos and don't forget to subscribe it will mean a lot to me if you do Ciao, ciao. See you next time. Mm -hmm.